people's duty is to draw attention to error. Everything motivated by love is pleasing to me, and thus, when you live with love everything you do or don't do will be in accordance with my will. However, you have to consider the motives of your actions, whatever they may be. Do you want to help a person or the world at large? Do you want to help and protect your neighbor from all manner of harm? Do you want to give light and understanding? In short, do you want to give or do you want to take, destroy, cause confusion and burden your fellow human beings? Or do you want to take action against terror and bring truth to your fellow human beings instead? You have to consider all this in the light of love, thus it has to permeate you if your every action is to correspond to my will. But I also want to draw your attention to the fact that I want erroneous belief to be corrected, that I expect you to spread the truth and that this task has priority. For I transmit pure truth to earth so that its light should shine into the darkness, and spiritual knowledge which originates from me will never contradict itself, or I would not be the source of the flow of spirit. Erroneous spiritual knowledge cannot originate from me and thus you, who receive the pure truth from me, have the right and the duty to fight it, but always beware not to offend against the law of love, that you are messengers of truth when you approach those who live in error. As soon as you, with my word from above, can refute the doctrine they believe to have received from me, they can, with good will recognize who speaks to them through you. For I will always use reason to expose the error so that it can be recognized as such, and I will be able to do so through a vessel which is suitable to receive my flow of spirit. It is true, though, that everyone will claim to be a vessel of God but the genuine investigator will recognize my voice and will not find it difficult to come to the right conclusion because error will be exposed in a manner that demonstrates knowledge. Nevertheless, people also have to employ their will in order to recognize my voice, if this will is not present then even the most lucid reasons will not be understood, and the person will hold on to his misguided belief in spite of clarifications and appropriate references. But this is certain, Every spiritual instruction by me also reveals me myself as the provider, insofar as its wording and content give evidence of a perfect provider, who clearly and understandably solves the kind of problems which cannot be solved intellectually. Imperfection and ignorance are eliminated, for by the latter you humans recognize the influence of powers which are not yet perfect, not yet enlightened to carry out my instruction of transmitting spiritual knowledge to earth. If the human being himself in his arrogance fails to recognize such imperfection then the pure truth given to him by my messengers will not give him clarity either, because he lacks the inner humility which would also guarantee his understanding of eternal truth. Hence time and again you will meet with resistance where the adversary has already established himself by giving false information and people are not willing to let go of him in the firm belief to have received the information from me myself. However, I allow every human being's freedom of will, I will merely contact him now and again and try to make him take notice. But only his will makes the choice. Amen.